Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna do a probably a shorter video here, but I want to show you the progress that I've made on the camper. I've got a little bit of footage to show you, but unfortunately I lost some footage, so I'm just gonna have to kind of talk you through what I've done. So let me show you the footage I got and then we'll go from there. Hey guys. So I got the aluminum scan on this side. Got my light on. It's not hooked up yet, but port for the power. And the door. <clears throat> you can see it's just seat aluminum and I'll have this and then trim going down here so the aluminum just kind of floats it's not actually glued down or anything just the trim and the door and the light and everything is what holds it on and that's that side this side I've got the aluminum cut and ready to go on I'll put the window in and that'll help hold it in place while we'll, uh, I get the roof piece cut, measured, and put it in place. Got my hole cut for the rooftop fan. If you notice down here, the aluminum comes all the way down to the bottom of the trailer. So once the front piece comes on all the way down here and the trim goes over it, water would just run all the way down and off. So I gotta get the front piece cut, the top piece. It's gonna be two pieces. I don't, couldn't get a long enough sheet of aluminum to do one. So it's gonna start right here, come all the way down the front to somewhere right about in here and then I'll overlap by about two or three inches a piece here so the top one will overlap on the bottom and that'll be the front the top the aluminum once I get that on then I'll start on the galley hatch. I've already got it pretty much built. There's my window ready to go in. And here's the galley hatch. It's built. I'll have to skin it with aluminum. And then get the hinge on it. Get it installed. So guys, that's unfortunately that's all the, the footage I have right now but as you can see I've made a little bit more progress on the camper looks much more finished the window rooftop fan it's not hooked up yet but got the galley hatch on uh, hurricane hinge which I'm not happy with and I'm gonna be swapping out but I'll do a separate video on that later so here's the driver's side got the the light that's not not hooked up yet the door and then the hook up for the electrical so on that last little clip you saw the the sheeting on the sides which was just
just like this right here. This is just pre painted white 040 aluminum. That's what I cut out for the window. But the aluminum sheeting is not actually glued down or screwed down or anything. It's held on by the window and the trim that goes all the way around the edges. So it just floats over the wood, which is the best way to do it because with the wood behind it, expanding and contracting in the different temperatures, the aluminum not being glued to it, that wood has the space to move with the, with the aluminum just being floating over it. Now this trim is just an aluminum extrusion with a vinyl insert to cover the screw heads. And I bought it pre-painted black, but I just started right down here, you know, put a screw in, put a screw in, on around, and kind of bent it as I went, and it's got butyl tape behind it to seal that seam, which is this stuff right here, really sticky and see how it squishes out when it gets compressed. I need to actually trim this off and clean it up. But so the trim goes all the way around the edge. And now if you notice right here, it's one continuous piece. A lot of people, when they put these hinges on, they'll stop their trim right here, set the, the hinge down flat on the top of the roof they'll have another piece of trim start right here and so they end up with a gap in the trim where the hinge is. I didn't want to do that so I took a quarter inch piece of bar stock aluminum. Sorry it was out of focus. I put a quarter inch piece of bar stock aluminum down which gives me the height of this trim and then put my hinge and then the hinge is extended out so that any water that gets in here instead of being able to it would drip back down. But I'm not happy with that, so I'm gonna end up changing it out. And then back here, this is just eighth inch thick, two inch wide bar stock aluminum. I know they make a T molding that a lot of people use to go on here, and I've tried it before, and I didn't like it because it was just so thin, and you just barely touch it, and it wants to bend up, especially down on the corners and the edges. I have to I still have to trim this across flush but I've got that eighth inch thick two inch wide bar stock and the same here for the bend I just started screwing it in and as I got a little closer I pre bent it a little bit by hand but then I just kind of let the screws do the work to bend it in I've got the sheet of aluminum on the top it starts right here at the edge and it runs all the way it's one 10 foot long sheet and it runs all the way back down to right here and then I cut a piece that comes up probably to about right here overlapping that's underneath it and then I use this piece to cover that seam and again that's just that eighth inch thick too much wide aluminum bar stock. So if you notice down here I said the, the aluminum just floats so I need to put another another piece of trim across here because if you look it's just right right now and I actually drove it like this and took it about a four hour drive camped out for the weekend and drove it back and you can see where it was flapping out enough that it hit the tire <laughs> left a little mark there but that should come off and i'm gonna put i'm thinking i might do a, a diamond plate down the side i want to do one on the front also as a, as a rock guard as you can see the hatch the hatch just held on by the hinge is the inside of it. You can see I left it out in the rain to test it as a 
see if it was leaking and that hinge is leaking and I'm pretty sure I know why which is why I say I'm not happy with that hinge but galley hatch roof or the I'm eventually gonna have some gas shocks to hold this up it's not real heavy I mean a couple of good Good strong gas shocks on it one on either side should hold it up just fine and then you can see the trim on the back side and then down there it's just a one inch angle iron aluminum angle iron to clean that edge and when it closes it sits on top of that where this vinyl is to cover up the screws and back here from right here under the hinge down instead of that vinyl it's actually weather stripping it's designed to fit right in that channel you can see it there So when the back end closes, this aluminum bar stock sits right down on that weather stripping and creates a nice seal all the way down. Let me show you this aluminum trim. So this is what's along the edge. Um, of course this one's not painted like that one is, but it's just a extruded aluminum. See how it's got these little these little channels underneath or on the sides is where that I tried to do this with my hand. You can see you can see it's got these little channels right here. So your screws go in here and then this vinyl trim. Trying to do this one-handed and hold the camera straight. It just snaps in and covers those screws and gives you a nice clean edge. And with that <clears throat> aluminum trim that I got for that one that's, that's pre-painted black with that black vinyl. Makes it a nice clean edge there. It's like a nice polished finished look. So guys, that's where we're at. I apologize, I couldn't show you the footage of me doing it. Some of it, I, part of it I got busy and just forgot to film. And then I lost some footage. Bad SD card or something, I guess. Either that or I forgot to hit record or something. I don't know. But we'll move on from here. I think you get the idea. It's pretty simple. I just put the, the aluminum sheeting up to the side and traced around it with a marker from the back side to get my get my shape. Cut it out with a jigsaw metal blade. where it's at we'll move on to the next next video will probably be uh, me replacing that hinge I'm gonna do something a little different probably not gonna use a hurricane hinge I've just decided that I don't like them I know that's what everybody uses and people rave about them but I just uh, haven't had very good luck with them so I'm gonna go in another direction but if you like this, you want to see, see more of the build, hit subscribe, hit like, share this video, hit the little bell notification. 
the bell icon so you get notified when I do another video and uh, thanks for watching.